Welcome to Matrix Part 5, Inputs to Expansion Outputs. Now this particular tab, Inputs to Expansion Outputs, is exclusive to the DMTH4. Now if we click on that tab, you'll notice we have two expansion out channels, number 1 and number 2. Think of those as outputs number 25 and 26 on a DM1624. Now the reason I say that is when you learn the macro control language, that's how they will be addressed. Okay, so as an example, what we have here is we have the CEO, uh, actually the CEO, the president, sales and marketing, and the CD audio. And what we would like to do is send all of those to the far end uh, when we're utilizing the telephone hybrid. So watch this. Let's right click, we'll copy this column, go to inputs to expansion outputs, I'm going to right click, paste column, and everything comes in. Notice these expansion out channels have all the same versatility as the matrix. We have auto mix modes, and we also have uh, gains that we can set, and we have all of the uh, keys that we can look at, just like the matrix. Okay, so let's say as an example, I only want the president and the CEO to talk to the far end, and I want the CD audio to pass through. Well, what I'm going to do is disable sales and marketing. They may say something silly and irrelevant that we do not want the far end to hear. <laughs> okay, so now what we're passing is just the CEO, the president, and the CD audio. And you'll notice that we have the same information as we do in the matrix. We're passing all of that to the telephone hybrid. This gives us the benefit of utilizing two virtual buses without having to spend any of our physical outputs, which is really nice. Those outputs are precious, and we don't want to utilize them just by patching. So that is all there is to using the expansion output channels.